Hi, I'm Nick Sider. I'm a field crop entomologist with the University of Illinois. Today I'll be talking about slugs and slug management in corn and soybean. Slugs are actually not an insect, they're a mollusk, and that's not just an academic consideration. That does have real implications for how they behave, what their life cycle is like, and ultimately how we manage them. Um, one of the things, in fact, the primary thing that's going to favor slugs is wet conditions. Slugs do require lots of moisture to, to live and to thrive. The other thing that's going to favor increased damage from slugs is slow crop growth. Um, so cool conditions that slow the crop down are actually going to give the slugs more time to do damage to the crop and ultimately reduce that stand. So that's what we're on the lookout for in terms of risk factors for slug damage. Now where we especially see issues with slugs is in soybeans. They really like to feed on those germinating seeds and on the cotyledons. You can see an example of the damage to the cotyledons in these pictures. Pretty distinctive damage. You're not likely to confuse that with anything else. Um, and this is going to directly reduce stand, and obviously enough of that stand reduction can be a major problem in your fields. You see down in the lower left corner that slug in the open seed furrow there, that's a situation we really want to avoid as well. Of course, those open seed furrows also favored by wet, moist conditions. When a slug gets down in there, it just sort of walks along that furrow, feeding on those germinating seeds. Now slugs can damage corn as well. You can see an example of this sort of scraping, tattered damage to the corn foliage. This damage tends to be less of an issue. Corn's just a little bit better at overcoming that kind of feeding damage. However, if you have a heavy enough slug population, you can see stand losses in corn as well. In terms of management for slugs, one thing to remember is that insecticides are not going to be effective. That material that's designed to kill an insect generally is going to have no effect on slugs. In fact, you might make your slug problem worse by eliminating some of the beneficial insects that are out there preying on them. There are some slug-specific baits, some molluscicides that are available. To get that material into the slug, they have to actually feed on it, so it's formulated as a bait product. They do tend to be expensive. They tend not to be readily available in Illinois. And unfortunately, we have limited labels in soybean where we would really potentially be able to use that product. So they haven't been a great option for us in Illinois to this point. One thing to keep in mind, if you do have slug issues, often the only recourse is to replant portions of the field that have been affected. You really don't want to go into that replant before you've given the soil a chance to dry out and warm up. Once you have that slug population there, until that soil dries out, uh, you're going to have that same problem. And we've gotten into some situations in southern Illinois in particular where people have replanted again and again and again while the slugs are still out there. So in terms of your cultural management, anything that's going to open up that seed bed and dry it out, strip tillage has been used in some cases, for instance, will help. Also, anything that helps that plant to really come out of the ground quickly. Often the best situation is going to be to wait for warmer conditions and go into it then. Uh, but with that, thank you for watching and feel free to email me any questions that you may have about slug management in Illinois.